Quite a bit of education software out there is rather terrible, dated, old, expensive, um, and the biggest problem we face is siloed. So what that means for educators, for parents, or for students, you spend a lot of time hunting down data to understand how kids are performing. When we first started out, um, it was simply to create a tool for our high school. And, and that evolved, of course, to the district. Uh, we were not trying to start a business. Um, we started to gather the attention of other districts in the area who wanted to use Aubrey. We basically, as a district, sat down and said, what do we spend the most amount of money for? What gives us the biggest headaches? From there, we started going down the, the drawing board of creating really good apps that solve those problems. After that time, I, really, I left the classroom, and this allowed me to start developing what is now Aubrey. Um, starting to code and starting to develop an app to allow teachers to teach, students to learn, and allow parents to access all that information from the home. We don't have business background, so the fact that we were able to tap into a network with Damon coming on as our CEO, with Cincy Tech, um, with Ohio at large, it has been very beneficial. It's been a very organic but very supportive network, both in terms of education and then for us in particular, for the business community, it's just been a phenomenal way to tap into resources. So if you're interested in starting a new business, I think the thing to keep in mind is staying focused on what you're really passionate about. If you're really, really passionate about a problem that you're trying to solve or make something better or an idea for innovation that you really think that you can bring to the table, that's really your driving force and your driving factor that stays with you through the entire process.